Hey, hello. Romans 3, 1 through 8 says, What advantage then hath the Jew? Or what profit is there of circumcision? Much in every way. Chiefly because that unto them were circumcised the oracles of God. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? God forbid. Yeah, let God be true, but every man a liar. As it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and might, mightest overcome when thou art judged. But if our unrighteousness commend the righteousness of God, what shall we say? Is God unrighteous who take vengeance? I speak as a man. God forbid. For then how shall God judge the world? For if the truth of God hath more abounded through my life unto his glory, why yet am I also judged as a sinner, and not rather as we be slanderously reported? And as some affirm that we say, Let us do evil that good might come, whose damnation is just. Blessed be your name in the land that is plentiful, where your streams of abundance flow. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name when I'm found in the desert place. Though I walk through the wilderness, blessed be your name. Every blessing you pour out, I'll return to praise. When the darkness closes in, Lord, still I will say, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glorious name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name, when the sun is shining down on me, when the world is all that it should be. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name, on the road marked with suffering, though there's pain in the offering. Blessed be your name. Every blessing you pour out, turn back to praise. When the darkness closes in, Lord, still I will say, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glorious name. You give and take away. You give and take away. My heart will choose to say, Lord, blessed be your name. Every blessing you pour out, I'll turn back to praise. When the darkness closes in, Lord, still I'm gonna say, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glorious name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name.
Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glorious name. Give and take away. You give and take away. My heart will choose to say, Lord, blessed be your name. Spirit of living God, thank you for today and thank you for this session. Have us learn what you have for us to learn. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, what's the advantage of being a Jew? Or what? The benefit of circumcision, plenty in every way. <coughs> first of all, first of all, the Jews were trusted with God's revelations. What does it matter then if some weren't faithful? Their lack of faith won't cancel God's faithfulness, will it? Absolutely not. God must be true. Even if every human being is a liar, as it is written, so that it can show that you are right in your words, and you will triumph when you are judged. But if our lack of righteousness confirms God's justice, what will we say? That God who brings wrath upon us isn't just? I'm speaking rhetorically. <clears throat> Absolutely not. If God weren't just, how could he judge the world? But if God's truth is demonstrated by my life and it increases his glory, why am I still judged as a sinner? Why not say, let's do evil things so that good things will come out of it? Some people who slander us, accuse us of saying that. But these people deserve criticism. 1. What, the, what is the advantage of being a Jew? Romans 3, 2 of the New International Version says, Much in every way. First of all, the Jews have been entrusted with the very words of God. If all can inherit life, what is the advantage of being a sinner? The first benefit is that God talks to his children. I once thought that God would use me to communicate with people. I thought I would be able to interpret dreams. I thought that since both Jews and Gentiles dream, God tries to communicate with everybody equally. After all, he doesn't play favorites. This verse shows my mistake. First of all, the Jews were entrusted with God's revelations. God talks to his children. Only the dreams of believers are able to be interpreted. Also, one isn't able to use their brain to interpret. God gives the interpreter, the interpretations they tell the dreamers. 2. Will Jewish unbelief cancel God's faithfulness? 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 11-13 say, Here's a trustworthy saying, If we died with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him. If we disown him, he will also disown us. If we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot disown himself. Faith is the certainty that God will answer our prayers. I have always thought that my faith needed to be at a certain level, and I'm just not there yet. And this is why I haven't yet 
had my healing manifest itself. The epistle of Second Timothy counters this erroneous belief of mine. Even if I am faithless, he will remain faithful. Even if I don't believe, he will answer my prayer. I don't know why I'm the only one who can see my healing. All in all, no, Jewish unbelief won't cancel God's faithfulness. If our three, if our sin commends his righteousness, how can he judge? The apostle doesn't answer this question here. He just condemns those who ask it. He does, however, answer in Romans 6. Romans 6, 1 through 4 says, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death. That like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. Even if our sin advances his kingdom, we are still supposed to live without sinning, because when we first accepted faith and were baptized, we died to sin. Our sinful nature died on the cross that day, and our new selves walked out of the grave. Matthew 27, verses 52 and 53 say, and the graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose, and came out of the graves after his resurrection, and went into the holy city, and appeared unto many. Spirit of the living God, thank you for resurrecting us into your kingdom. Thank you for enabling us to live holy lives. Thank you for being you. Be our shield and our strong tower. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now, get lost.